Hi everyone. Today I have taken up chapter number three, metals and non-metals of science class ten. So the chapter three, that is metal and non-metals, is divided into five parts. Number one is the physical properties, then chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Then we have ionic bond formation and its properties. Then we have extraction of metals, and finally. the chapter ends with the topic corrosion this video is a mind map or a summary of the chapter for a quick revision and this video includes all the one mark and two mark questions from the chapter so let's begin so in total at and at present there are 118 chemical elements that are known so we have two things elements and compounds if you don't know what is an element and what are compounds you can check the video or a short that i have uploaded on my channel so elements are further classified into three things that is metal non metals and metalloids and compounds are classified into further three uh, into further three branches that is acids bases and salts that are neutral we had discussed about this compound classification in chapter number 2 now we are going to discuss about metals non metals and metalloids there is nothing much mentioned about metalloids in this chapter the only thing is that metalloids shows properties of both metals and non metals they are 50 50 of metals and non metals we are going to discuss about metal and non metals in this chapter so a basic difference is metals lose electrons that are positive ions and they are basic whereas non metals gains electron remember this point gains electron that are negative ions and are acidic talking about the physical properties of metals so metals are malleable so yes they are malleable gold and silver are the best malleability examples they talk about ductility metals are ductile copper and silver are again the good examples snorers so yes metals create a ringing sound when hit hard talking about hardness so metals are very very hard and there is one exception in this the exception is that lithium sodium and potassium are the metals which are not hard these are soft this can even be cut it by your knife then we have mercury mercury is the only non metal which is found in liquid state at room temperature then we have lustrous non metals are lustrous that is they gives shining appearance talking about talking about good conductors of heat and electricity so metals are good conductors of electricity so yes they are but if we talk about good conductors of heat so they are good conductors of heat but there is an exception lead and mercury are the poor conductors of heat but lead and mercury are good conductors of electricity so there is a difference between the good conductors of heat and good conductors of electricity melting and boiling point so metals have a very have a very high melting and boiling point there are two points that is tungsten tungsten is the highest melting point metal then we have gallium and cesium they have very low melting point among the metals these completes the pro- physical properties of metals for learning these properties you have a small trick that is my dear sister let's go home my means malleability ductility snorers lustrous good conductors of heat and electricity and then we have hardness and melting and boiling point so in total seven then we have non metals non metals are not malleable not ductile nor snorers talk about brittleness so they are brittle that means it breaks into pieces when they are hit hard example sulfur sulfur is a kind of yellow chalk so it breaks into pieces lustrous they are not lustrous except diamond and iodine diamond is an allotropic form of carbon the sixth physical property of non metal is physical state 
so the physical state is soft of non metals except two number one is diamond diamond is the hardest substance and it is a non metal again it is an allotropic form of carbon bromine it is found in liquid state so these two are the exceptions of non metals for seven property we have electrical and thermal conductivity that is good conductors of heat and electricity so non metals are not good conductors but there is an exception again the exception is graphite this is a good conductor melting and boiling point the melting and boiling point of non metals is very low the exceptions are boron silicon and calcium these have high melting points now coming up with the chemical properties the chemical properties of non metals are so non metals do not react with water nor with steam and not even with diluent acids now the question is why because as mentioned non metals accepts electrons that is they have negative ions but non metals can react with oxygen and they form when non metals react with oxygen they form non metal oxides that are acidic in nature these are the two example carbon oxygen gives carbon dioxide sulfur and oxygen gives sulfur dioxide the chemical properties of metals will be discussed in the part 2 thank you so much for watching